last meal of the day. This has been Saturday, my rest and recovery day. Had a massage earlier today, part of my part of my blog journey, sharing with you. Once a month, I get a massage for recovery purposes. And I made this stew tonight. I'm really excited about it. It is made with boiled peanuts, which if you look up peanut nutritional info, there's a lot of nutritional value in peanuts. It's made with potatoes. If you look up just even regular potatoes, the nutritional benefits, they are insane. They're amazing. And I made this special broth I've been testing. It's all vegan, plant-based. I made it with uh, nutritional yeast, which is loaded with B vitamins. I'm, I marinated the... This, this has been cooked inside of a clove of garlic has been used. And then ginger has been used. So it's very um, immunity-boosting and very healthy. So, so, so this is a... So the stew plus the grapes and then plus... On the side, some toast and jam, because I am. My goal is I'm on a weight gain diet. Most of most people are on a weight loss diet, but I am gaining weight. So, hence the added carbs. And I'll be back. Plant-based, vegan meal example. So happy and grateful now. Just got back from Trader Joe and picked up this delicious food. So grateful and thankful for this food. I'll be able to consume it. It's all plant-based and vegan. Um, I tasted this the other day. Got some beefless Korean. Oh, it goes really great with this jasmine rice. And then got some green green juice over here. My for greens, and I do eat greens, but I like green juice, carrot juice, strawberries, blueberries, veggie wrap, spicy lentil wrap, pink salt, purple potatoes, almond milk, for treats, vegan chocolate chip cookie grapes so just sharing uh, the fitness blog these are some things i'm going to be eating uh, and i've been cooking I actually cooked something i'll share with you later but, but let's pick this up on the way home from trader joe thought i'd share with you and bye for now bitcoin update october 28th 2023 at 6 p.m pacific standard time so if you follow Bitcoin, that you know that a lot of it's moved by the market. So being that it's Saturday evening, if you're a trader, a lot of times you don't want to make any, a lot of the traders, professional traders, aren't making any big moves because, think about it, on the weekends, the big institutions are not open. All the banking systems are closed around the world. So right around, if you just look, we'll see and we'll post more tomorrow, uh, right around Sunday, between Sunday and Monday night, just wait and see the action of Bitcoin. It's crazy. Right now, we're at 34,000. Um, about, uh, we'll go back later and look, but in just the last two or three weeks, Bitcoin has made a lot of big moves. But the thing is, is I feel like it could go either way. So, you know, thing is, that's why we track it. You see it inside these bars right here. These two bars is, is uh, what a lot of professionals call that we, we're putting inside of a box. So we're kind of trapping it ourselves instead of getting trapped by Bitcoin. We are trapping Bitcoin. So we put it inside this box. When I'm trading, personally, I don't get too far away from whatever this says. This is the Swipe Coin Scalper tool by the Academy. And this is the 15 minute time frame. We're going I I you know tomorrow we're going to talk about the larger term time frames. But just at a just at a just at a glance, I just wanted to share this with you. I was setting my charts up and just wanted to share this with you. It's just what I'd normally be doing anyway, but just passing it along to you. But the thing is, is how the thing is what I had a friend the other day ask me, well, how can people benefit from this? So if you don't really know how you could benefit from participating in digital assets, and that's that's a really big important question. I'm happy to answer it. Generally, people um they trade it. I mean, that's the thing. So, and there's different kind of trading styles. I'm going to get into more of that tomorrow. I'm going to uh, do something about this. But there's different. The thing is, it helps to understand the trading style. And then what trading style are you, right? So, and you can even look it up on Google uh, just in, in, uh, just to get the terms. But basically, position trading, swing trading, or scalp trading. Those are the those are generally a lot of the traders consider that they they're doing those type of trades 
I'm learning all three, but you, you, when you learn them, you get to know what's right for your personality. So that's the thing. This, is, uh, this tool is for scalp trading, but then I feel like it helps position and swing too. So um, it's just another great tool just to be more informed uh, when you're making, making moves in the market. And so that's the idea. So we just grow, you know, we're growing. So, but that's it for now. I just wanted to pass that along to you. If you have any questions about the, this tool or anything else, let me know. I am a representative of the Academy. I am looking to work with three people right now who's really like-minded and wants to learn to trade and we can collaborate together and share our trade information. I can't really share publicly <clears throat> my trades, but if you're a member, I feel like we can uh, I can share everything. So if you're interested in that, then you know I'm looking to talk to you. So don't hesitate to reach out. Information is in the description. And that's it for now. I'll be back. Day two, meal number one. Got some jasmine rice and some Korean beefless flavored beef and some grapes and a power smoothie with green juice and organ organic protein it's my favorite getting ready to tear it up and plus some cashews i'll be back day two of week 44 of 52 so what is that on my fitness and finance blog what does that mean week 44 means out of the 52 weeks of the year it's week 44 of 52 so that's kind of uh, that's how i do my goals right everybody's a little different Another thing I want to share with you about how I'm doing my goals, and you can either choose not to do it or not do it, but I like doing my goals by the moon cycle. So if you notice, we just had a full moon. I believe it was Sunday. Today's Monday. Yeah, it was yesterday. We had a full moon, right? So, and, or was it? Yeah, it was actually Saturday. We had the full moon. So Sunday was the day one of my new goals. So I personally... Set all my goals, whether it's fitness, finance, personal, like relationships, spiritual, all kind of goals. In, in relation to the fitness side, my goals are to do strength training, yoga, tai chi, and swim. Those are my activities for my fitness. My nutrition is the whole food, plant-based nutrition. My, my goal... Carb-wise, I'm going currently, I am gaining weight. If you just follow my blogs, I'm trying to gain muscle, gain weight. So I'm going for about 600 carbs a day, 150 proteins a day, and I'm tweaking my fats, but it was 45 grams, but um, I'm experimenting with that right now. But I have clear, specific goals, and I'm going for that. So during this moon cycle phase, Every week I'm doing weight training, I'm doing yoga, I'm doing tai chi, I'm doing swimming. Those are my goals. I'm getting drinking a gallon of water a day. And speaking of water, my massage therapist, I don't know if this is true or not, but she says you can leave water out in the full moon and it will charge the moon. So I actually, I put about four gallons of water, I charged it up and I'm drinking them. I'm, I'm gonna, my goal is to have them drink uh, finished down by Wednesday, right? So maybe that's a little, I don't know if that actually works or not, but hey, sometimes you gotta, you just try things, right? So, but water wise, gallon of water a day. Sleep wise, seven and a half to nine hours sleep a night. That's my sleep goal. Gallon of water a day, sleep. So I got the training in, cardio and strength training, nutrition, talked about that. Recovery, sleeping approximately seven and a half to nine hours sleep a night. Supplement intelligently. I'm still experimenting around with what supplements I like to take right now. And then the last but not least is the mindset. That's the, the mindset of, I, I like to have the mindset of a champion, right? What does a champion think? I've, I've been coached by champions. I've been a champion. And the champions really just want to be the best that they can be. So that's, that's my goal finish out this year the best that I can be. It's week 44, 52, it's end of October, it's going to be the first of November, all of November, all of December. I'm going to go out hard. So on my business, on my fitness and finance, on my finance side, I've developed a, a program for coaching weight loss that 
My goal is to get 25 clients of that. Then I have my personal training clients to stay, stay busy and do excellent by them. Then I have an online program I'm developing. It's for people that really want a lower end but still access. And so I'm building that. So I'm creating multiple offers over different price points, like a $47 price point, a $280 price point, a $97 price point. Just depends. So I'm hitting different price points. So my goal is 25 clients, at least 25 clients on like a three month weight loss program. That, that, that that's my one of my fitness, one I'm sorry, one of my finance goals, right? So getting weight loss clients, online weight loss clients, in person training clients. And then also, too, I'm, I'm a member, of course, of the Academy. If you heard about that, you know I'm into digital assets, and I'm a representative of the I Am Academy. So my goal is to get 20 new members in the I Am Academy. All that's finance, right, because that creates cash flow. And remember, uh, one of my mentors one of my mentors said, you know how we always say cash is king? Well, he says cash flow is king, and I, I agree with that. Cash flow is king. But now what's above that? I believe, as of on the channel Fitness and Finance, health is wealth. How do you feel about that? Put, put, put it in the chat if you're open to it. I personally believe health is wealth. If we don't have our health, what do we have? We're all dealing with health things. Or being healthy or fighting off, um, you know, warding off things that's going to keep us from being healthy. So, so health is wealth. Here's the slogan. Health is wealth. Cash flow is king. Cash is queen. And credit is freedom. Just think about those words for a minute. One of my, I have a mentor for, for credit. I have a mentor for cash flow. So cash, health is wealth. Think about that. Health is wealth. And that's my number one belief. That our health is our wealth. Cash flow is king. That's why we want to have a nice, strong cash flow growing every month. Cash is queen. Even in the Bible, it talks about build up stores, your storehouses. I was listening to that this morning. So we want to have build up our storehouses. And that's wise, like the ant. The ant. Look at the look at the ant, right? The story of the ant. It stores up things. It's preparing for the for the winter, right? Well, that's what we're to do, too, I believe. So, not spend everything we earn. We want to store up our storehouses. That's why I like to invest in digital assets, gold, silver, real estate. I, I, they're all great things. We store it up. We store up our storehouses. And so, I want you to have that blessing, too. So, I'll leave you with that. So, we're wrapping up day two of week 44, fitness and finance right so if i can answer any questions for you please let me know and i'll be back bye bye finishing up the last meal of the day here with a, a kind of a treat meal have impossible plant-based hot dogs with pickles something i enjoy so i'm ready to enjoy this treat and i'll be back <laughs>